Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about squirting. Ooh, yeah. What is it and how to help her with it? So, you know, you might be wondering what is squirting? Squirting, female ejaculation, Amrita, gushing, fountain women. <laughs> <laughs> These are just a few terms to describe the experience of a woman who has liquid gushing out of her urethra. There are still so many people that think this does not exist. Mm -hmm. It absolutely does. There is conclusive proof, not to mention studies, that mm -hmm. show that this is indeed a real thing. Yes, thank you for bringing this up because if you are a denier, you are wrong. <laughs> That's it. We are living proof that it's real. I am one and many other women that I do know. So, yes, female ejaculation is real and it's, it does come out of her urethra. And I think this is why sometimes it's confusing because a lot of like movies, like porn movies, they have women um, basically put water inside their pussy and then have that, have it squished and squirt. And that's how they call it squirting, but it's not the same. Uh, and when it's real, it comes out of the urethra, which kind of makes it look like it's pee, but it's not pee. It will smell, taste and look different. Now let's talk a little bit about the anatomy because if you want to help her with squirting, you need to understand what's going on and what needs to be stimulated in order for the process to happen. So we need to look at the inside of the vagina, which is a little bit difficult, but you're going to have to imagine it because again, it's all inside. There is a zone that is called the G spot and it's not really a spot. It's more of a zone. It also is called the urethral sponge. And if you look at it, it has like a head, a tail and a body. So it's, it's actually pretty decently sized. And one of the thing that we've noticed over the years too, is that it's not just one spot that it can move as she becomes more and more engorged. And that's why we call it more of a zone. That's urethral sponge. When it comes to the ejaculate in itself, there are two uh, glands that are called the Skene's gland or periurethral glands that fill up with liquids. This liquid is very similar to the uh, male seminal fluid. And so that's kind of like just to link it to you. Um, and so this is kind of what happens is once it gets engorged, the, the glands get filled up with fluids and liquids and there's really two options for things to happen. It either goes into the bladder and then later she will pee. Some even speculate that women, every woman can ejaculate, but most of them like ejaculate retrogradely, where it's like inside, right? Like a guy sometimes where it can happen. Uh, and if a woman has learned how to squirt, then she, it, it bypasses staying in the bladder and exits directly through the urethra. So that's kind of the anatomy to give you that. Uh, really, there's two things that she will need. And it's number one, she needs to have the stimulation in the right zone, right? <laughs> Proper stimulation. And I want to say like rhythm like a consistency in what you're doing in the stimulation and you don't specifically have to be like so rough with it uh, it can be really light but it needs to be in the right spot and for a lot of guys they think about it to like where they use their finger so they kind of like bring it up and curve it so basically when you want to reach her g-spot area it's like going inside and going up towards her pubic bone. Now I'm going to let Kevin talk about stimulating the G-spot area using your penis, not just your finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's highly recommended. <laughs> so, you know, for most guys, stimulating the G-spot with your penis can actually be extremely sensitive on the head of your penis because mm. basically it's the top of your head of your penis that's mm -hmm. going to be stimulating the G-spot. So for some men, that's just too much. They can't handle it. It's going to cause them to ejaculate. And that's why a lot of men prefer to do G-spot stimulation with their fingers. Mm -hmm. However, if you have taken one of our courses, hopefully, Master Your Ejaculation or Sexual Mastery, 
you will have learned how to control that, in which case you can definitely use your penis to stimulate the G-spot. It usually just requires changing the angle of your hips a little bit and pointing up so that you're, you're touching that zone. Mm -hmm. And then again, the rhythmic motion. It doesn't have to be hard at all, just that rhythmic motion of continually stimulating that zone. And it doesn't have to be really deep either. Sometimes you may think, oh, I'm not like super big with my penis. Like, how is it going to work? But it's not very deep inside. As a matter of fact, like maybe what, a couple inches, right? Or something like this. Yeah, so, maybe, maybe two. Yeah, exactly. And so I think one of the positions that tends to work really well for a lot of women is doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> It, it can. Missionary works uh, totally fine as well. Sometimes it just requires a little shift of the hips. She can bring her legs up yes. and place her legs over like your shoulders and that kind of helps to like, or you can prop her hips um, with a pillow underneath so that the angle can work better. You have to remember that your penis is going to be different than another guy's penis. So the angle of your cock uh, is going to make a difference with what you need to do to stimulate her G-spot with your penis. You know, a word of caution here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to intentionally make this happen, make sure you have some sort of an absorbent pad, preferably mm -hmm. one that's made for this type of thing. Absolutely. Because once you unleash it, it can be quite the tidal wave. <laughs> <laughs> and something that you need to understand is that a woman can ejaculate with or without an orgasm. And they can be together or not. So it doesn't mean you're not doing a good job or it should be a certain way. Sometimes it's just a few drops and sometimes it's like Kevin is saying, gushing. So don't have expectation. Now, the real key here, and I'm going to give you the secret from a woman's perspective, what she really needs to do is to relax. Most people try to tense up to make things happen but it's the relaxation that makes you ejaculate. And that's a big aha moment for a lot of people. So if you're trying to make her ejaculate, you need to make sure that she is comfortable, that she feels safe and that she can surrender and let go. When you are also stimulating a G-spot, whether it's with your finger, a wand or a penis, know that oftentimes we hold emotions and there are things that can come up and maybe she'll just like, cry or laugh or be angry for no reason don't take it personally it's all about her releasing just like hold space be there like don't try to fix her right do you have any advice for guys like on how to deal with that if she's having these emotions going through her don't take it personally it's most likely not about you and just mm -hmm. hold space for her and love her mm -hmm. and then another thing that's really important when it comes to female ejaculation is to have strong uh, pelvic floor muscles for her to be toned so if she's not yet super toned doesn't have good control of her pelvic floor muscles then she won't really know how to do this so you can help her by if you have your penis inside her or a finger have her squeeze around you and relax that's going to help her to start to feel things and the two of you can kind of feel what's going on give it some time don't force it. It takes a while and it may not happen the first time, the second time or the tenth time. It may take a few months before it happens. Don't make it so focused about she has to squirt because the more pressure you put on her, the less it's going to happen. Ultimately, it's about you knowing where to stimulate, about not shaming her, about having that it's not pee or that it's not natural. Know that you celebrate it. Let her know that you love it. And about giving her enough stimulation on the right spot, on the G-spot area, and just having this rhythmic motion that Kevin was talking about. Anybody can do it. It just takes a little practice. Mm -hmm. So give it a try. Have fun with it. And ultimately, whether or not you get there, it doesn't matter. It's about the connection and just the journey of being together and having some juicy sex. <laughs> so we hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like it, share it with a friend and subscribe to our channel.